Hi guys, this is Varun Marathe and today I have got a very very special video for you. Uh, this is quite possibly the sneak peek into the Android P which will be coming for, for the Samsung devices. Now as you all know that Samsung launched the Google uh, Good Luck app 2018 version in South Korea which is basically the sneak peek into the Android P version which will be coming by Samsung. So. Uh, since it's only available in Korea, even if you download it, uh, you, you just are not able to see anything, it will appear blank on it. So I have uh, I have some ways in which you can download all these applications which are basically the sneak peek into the functionalities that will be coming up with the Android P update. Now Android P update most likely uh, will debut with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 which will be coming in August so these all applications replicate the functionality which is there even if in good luck app we are not able to see anything these applications will help us in knowing what is uh, new in the new update so I'll just help you in getting these applications so uh, there will be a link in the uh, description below where all these apk files will be there you just go on that website, download this uh, into your folders, into your phone and this will appear like this in this section. So you have to install all these applications one by one in, into your devices. But the thing is you won't be seeing all of them uh, in your app drawer. So for that what you have to do, you need to download a NOAA launcher. It is free. Go to the Play Store, download it. And once you download the NOAA launcher, hard press on it, go into the widgets and from this select the activity section of the NOAA launcher and in this you will see all the applications which are not available in the app drawer but they are installed in your uh, phone so you just, what you have to do is you just have to go over there and for example this is H touch so click on it and it will appear on your home screen so in this way what we will do is in this way we will get all these applications on your home screen and uh, you are good to go so the very first thing which i'm really excited about is the first thing which i'm really excited about is the task changer now this is uh, this is the one which i'll show you right now as soon as you install it it gets updated into your system so whenever when you click on this multitasking button over here this is what you get now look at this this is such an amazing way of multitasking all your applications are lined up and I have to say it pretty much looks like what uh, we get on the iOS 10 version on the Apple iPhone 10 this is how it looks like but I have to say it is amazing look at the fluidity of all the applications it is so nice it is so fluid you can't see any sort of lag there is an application icon on the top of it uh, since I guess it is just in the application form right now you can see that at the back you are still seeing whatever is going on on the screen it has not gone back to show this separately uh, but all of this looks great we have a larger view of the entire screen which is there in that application everything looks great everything looks smooth uh, when you long press on this icon over here you get this multiple options you can open it in pop view you can also lock application and you can hide the content so this is great when you click on this hide content you are not able to see what is there in the application uh, it is darkened out even if you click on the multitasking button this is the way it will be shown to you so yeah this is another great thing which you can implement if you want to and when you click on it the application starts so going back uh, yeah, as I as I told you, this is this is what we might get when the Android P update hits uh, our Samsung devices. Uh, it looks cool. It looks great for closing the app. You have to either swipe down or swipe up, and the application will be closed. So this is really nice. The animations are good. The animations are fluid. So we don't have to worry about uh, it slowing down our phones and i guess this is the first view of how our multitasking window will appear and it is a drastic change from what we had seen over the years so this is something which is really nice 
now going back we have another application over here one which i really like is the lockstar application star application when you open it it will ask you for permission to allow and now when you turn on this toggle this is really interesting because you can now create your own styles for your lock screen which is fantastic as you can see we have this multicolor uh, multiple background options to choose from which you if you want to choose from them or if you don't like them you can also choose from your own gallery another thing is when you when you click on the clock here you can also choose from multiple clocks which are allowed and uh, uh, just like that you can have this kind of an application over there now when you click on items visibility uh, we can choose which what things should be visible on your lock screen if you click all of them as you can see the entire lock screen gets filled with uh, you know help desk the lock lock status icon the music controller notification everything or if you don't want them you can change it now when you click on this arrow over here as you can see the styles are changing the clocks is cha also changing the location which is great now uh, let's select uh, let's say we I, I am selecting this uh, background over here and when we save this style gets saved in this application and now we off and turn on as you can see look at this this is such a fantastic way of interacting with your lock screen we are having all this application over here and you can just swipe up and you enter in the uh application now when you click on this you can again uh when you apply this okay it is applying the style again now uh if you want if you want to have app interaction that is also you can do you can change it now i'll show you uh, you can add another applications over here when you go and click on that star button we can add up to six applications so uh, i think that's more than enough for an average person uh, so I'll go ahead and add Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, YouTube Studios and WhatsApp. So when you apply over here, this style will get saved and uh, it will get applied. Now next when you turn on your screen, this is what you are going to see and you can go directly into the application from this. By swiping up, you are going to enter into the application which is fantastic. So it is something which is not seen by us for a very long time we can interact with the lock screen we can change it we can turn it into however we want to so it will give us a lot more access uh, in how our lock screen looks so it is one great way of uh, making your lock screen more attractive now moving on uh, this is one amazing feature which i have liked is quick star application in this you can actually change the color of the drop down menu as you can see right now it is a different color it is having red uh, it almost pinkish uh, it is because this is the default which has been chosen so you can make your own color theme now when you click on this as you can see this is the default one which you get on samsung now when you click on the first button over here as you can see the color of the toggles change as you can see in the background and whichever color you want you can have it and uh, it will be customized to you so uh, let's say i have this on purple i select on done and this is the color of the toggles when they are not on so even this you can change it is up to you what what you want uh, you can also keep it closer to white so that uh, they are almost off or you can have a little bit greenish or bluish color to it and select done and uh, the third one is the background color of the entire toggle whichever you like now now look at this this provides you a lot of control over your own phone now even if it looks good if it doesn't look good that is not the issue what you do is you get a customizable uh, customizable option for your home screen and when you select done this is what you get you can also change the background transparency of it uh, it looks good over here but when you actually use it it does not look good if you if you're at 100 percent transparency but uh, just for the sake you will keep it on 10 11 percent you can also have a blur effect so that when you drop down the notification shade entire things blurs out and you only see the notification panel and when you save it and apply it look at this the we have your own customized notification drop down menu which is great because it gives user a lot of control over the application and the way the application is looking 
so that is one uh, great application which i thought you should see another application over here which is uh, nice is one handed operation now when you turn this on you can actually uh, turn the application on by swiping off diagonally so uh, use the long diagonal sweep to the entire screen to turn into one one handed mode so as you can see you have to turn it on and when you go back in the settings and you select uh yeah so as you can see the one handed mode has been turned on so it is for people who don't have a large hands now for me uh i i am pretty comfortable with using this phone i have samsung galaxy note 8 but few people are not comfortable with that so this hand one handed mode will really help them and you can also turn it from side to side so it is another uh great way of interacting with your device uh one more application which you have over here is routine application now this application will let you add various functions uh you know you can name them whatever you want you can you can say just set alarm and uh, you can add a condition over there that date and time so let's say i want to add alarm at a particular date so it will start at uh 10 10 10 20 pm and it will end at uh let's say 8 in the morning that's it and you can also select when it should repeat and the action which will happen uh is is what you have to select once again so we can launch an app there can be a beep there can be a vibration you know there can be a notification so when we want an alarm Uh, you can just say notification you can read a notification from the application so all these different kind of settings can be done in this routine applications uh, there are also location based uh, settings which can be done which will arrive in a future update so yeah this is again a great app uh, as you can see these it is recommendations which are coming up over here that when you connect a headphone you can start the music and such so all of these various functionalities are present in this single app which is great uh, the one which is over here by default is always on display so when you are charging the phone turn on the always on display it is some kind of uh, action based functionalities which is brought to your phone it is great now another application is the edge lighting plus it is similar to the one which we already have on our phone but it adds a few effect over here as you can see uh, these are the ones which were already there but when you go ahead we have this fluid effect it's different it's pretty thin we have the boomerang effect as you can see we have the galaxy effect which is by far my favorite we have the loop effect over there and the celebrate effect now the changes in all this is in celebrate effect you cannot choose the color of the lighting which is happening uh, but uh, in another uh, in all the other effects we can choose the color which is happening so yeah nothing much has changed in it we are just getting an extra lighting effects over here so uh, it might be useful for some people now going back we have another application over here which is the edge touch application now this application actually allows you to add the edge zone wherever you want to so you can actually choose which zone will be blockable so that when you accidentally touch that part of the edge the edge panel won't be activated so it is a very nice way because we we are familiar with our usage and we know that when uh, this edge panel is accidentally activated so we can set all the regions which you do not want this edge panel to be activated on and it will be blocked completely even if it is getting touched over there so this is one great application as you can uh, as you can see it will provide uh, more control over the people who have accidentally touching the edges and getting those edge panel activated for no reason at all so it will improve the blocking of that application so yes that's it guys this is in short the sneak peek into the android p update which will be arriving on the samsung devices uh, let's hope after the launch of samsung galaxy note 9 so uh, the good lo good lock application which actually launched in south korea a few days back has brought this application so now since that application is only available in south korea the apk's of this application we actually got from a source and uh, i will link the description uh, I'll, i'll link 
provide the link for it in the description below so you can download this for yourself and follow the procedure which i told you uh, after downloading this install them uh, download the novel launcher for free and when you go into the widget select the applications activity section and from there when you click on this application they'll arrive on your home screen and as soon as they are installed all these functionalities can be used so uh, yeah guys I, I really hope that this update officially arrives on your phone very quickly because a few features which are there on this especially the lock screen one this uh, multitasking window which you can see over here it looks fabulous it looks amazing and uh, it is a welcome change because we have seen similar kind of uh, UI in a device for more than two three years now so it will be a welcome change I think these animations are really quick as well it was in the Android P sneak peek which came uh, from Google uh, on the pixel devices so on Samsung devices it is looking more brilliant as you can see so i really wish this update hits the devices quickly and uh, uh, fingers crossed that mo majority of this functionality should arrive and it will provide us much more control on our devices uh, and that is what on android is all about so yeah guys uh, if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day Thank you.